While the Gallery widget in Elementor Pro works well, it does have some limitations. In today's video, I'm going to show you what you can use instead of the Gallery widget to create a more interactive, dynamic gallery. The idea for this video came from a question I recently received. Annie asks, I like to build a gallery for my portfolio that includes screenshots of my work. I would like to have tabs for different categories, for example, WordPress, Shopify, WooCommerce, etc. I'd also like to have these images linked to external websites. Any ideas on how to achieve this in Elementor? My first thought was, this is easy, just use the gallery widget in Elementor Pro. But then I remembered that you can't actually add links to the images you put into the gallery. So that wasn't going to work. My next thought was to use tabs with nested elements. Inside the tabs, you can add really anything you want. In fact, the more I thought about it, the more convinced I was that using nested tabs was a better solution than using the gallery widget. You can add way more than just images that open inside of a light box, and you have the ability to really customize the layout under each tab. Let's take a look at some of the possibilities. In order to get this to work, you need to make sure you have nested elements turned on in Elementor settings. To double check, go to Elementor, Settings, Features, then make sure nested elements is active. With my page opened in Elementor, I'll drag over a tab widget. By default, Elementor gives you three tabs at the top to start with, along with the ability to adjust the layout. We can change the direction of the tabs, as well as how the text is justified and aligned. From here, I can start adding whatever I want to these tab areas, images, text, buttons, videos, any Elementor widget I want. This allows for a much more customizable gallery than just images in a light box. Using this option allows me to do exactly what Annie asked for. Let me show you. First, I'll drag over an image widget, then select my image. Finally, under link, I'll select custom URL and paste my URL in here. Repeat the process until all your images are added. If you like videos like this, I recommend you check out our other Elementor tutorials. I hope you learned something. Thanks so much for watching.